Update on the Toro Recycler I got free in Flemington yesterday. So it had um, a gummed up carburetor. I didn't even take the carburetor off. I just dropped the ball. Cleaned out the main jet. Cleaned out the ball. Shot carb clean up the throttle body. And that was it. Let's see how she does, huh? It took me a total of 10 minutes. 10 minutes it took to do that. Okay? It's got good gas in it right now. Ready? That's it. It's fixed. Oil. I believe I said it was good. It was just... Well, I can't check it right now. It just ran, but... When I remember the oil was good, spark plugs good, tires excellent condition. Um, blade on this baby is actually in really nice shape. Give her a quick sharpening, clean under the deck, give it a good wash, and she's ready to go. This cable, hmm, it's fine. It's made to go that way as long as it works. That's for your, and it works. The self propel works. And this is for your cable break. She's a worker. And that took me, like I said, 15 minutes. I would have had it done earlier. I was all stressed out about nonsense on Instagram. Because one of my uh, buddies from way back that I knew in 05, 06. I started talking to him first for anybody else locally. Dudes removed me from his follow list. And I'm all stressed out because I'm wondering why. Is it something I said to him? Or is it something other people said to him? Like, don't follow him. Don't hang out with him. This and that. Which, come on. For real? You know, it's like, really? Really? You know, I was already alienated throughout my 20s because of nonsense I went through. I'm now 36. And the, and the great part about it was I started reconnecting with other good people. And then all of a sudden, that one drops on me. You know, so that had me stressed out for a while because it's like, come on, man. So I know he's busy, but he's not getting in touch with me. I went on my other account sent messages like yo what's going on you know what's the problem i get worried like that i over worry a little bit but there's no there was really no reason for it so i need to find out why he at least did it but that's just the type of person i am i get a little bit over worried about th certain things it could be my ocd it could be just the fact that i'm looking and i'm thinking uh, you know, because he used to work at one of those gas stations on the turnpike. So I sent him news about the fact that there's only one person per per island now uh, at the station. So that you can't wash windows anymore. Right? And then all of a sudden, I look today, and he's got me unfollowed. It's like I'm, sh I'm sending him current news on what's going on around here, and then he unfollows me. It's like, are you, are you serious? So I wasn't too happy about that. But otherwise, we're good. The electric starter will be fixed and ready to go back on that tomorrow. And then that's ready for photos. This, the quick tune-up, a quick wash, that'll be ready to go. And then we'll start looking at that other on a, those other two things. So that's the status on the Toro Recycler. I like these. I like these Tecumsehs. Easy access to the carburetor, float bowl dropped, you're right there. And I was in and the thing was started and running perfect. Sounds like it'd be sped up a little bit, which is that. Uh, tang, right there. See, there's a spring. It's going to be hard to see. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There is a spring right there you see that spring on the end of that springs a tang if you bend that tang forward it speeds the engine up if you 
bend it back it slows the engine down so it sounds like I might need to speed the engine up just a bit but other than that good to go and I have another one of these in fact I think I have two more of these 200 bucks a pop on these babies so that was good so all right guys thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe leave a comment down below give me the thumbs up and subscribe for next the next great video which will be continuing on with this fine toro recycler from 2006 with the tecumseh lev 190 lev 195 lev 195 is that what they are they were originally LEV 120s and then they went to LEV 195, I think. Should say right on it, actually. I'll tell you right now. <sighs> PH, EVP. Uh, it's got 195 cc, so it's 5 cc, even bigger than the Quantum. And it is a. Yeah, they either called them the LEV 120 or the LV 195 or LV LEV 195. But they were always good engines. But if I can find the actual model tag and tell you for sure which one it is. It's an old it's a newer one, so it's definitely gonna be that 195 number and not the 120. But uh Forget, I forget on these. Usually it's right there. It's not. It's not. I don't know. It's either an LEV 120 or an LEV 195. Either way, it's 195 cc. They call that six and a half horsepower. That's close to about correct. The Briggs Quantums are 190 cc. They rate them things anywhere from 4.75 horsepower to 6.75 horsepower. These ones were rated anywhere from 6 to 6.75 horsepower. They're 195 cc. 195 cc engine is really, really 5 horsepower. If you were to cut it straight down the middle. Like that right there that tecumseh that's 195 cc engine that's five horsepower true okay but you know they were all over the place with the numbers all right guys thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one